start out the song, we're on the 5th string, and we're going to hit 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, and then open. The song actually starts with the bass doing that, but uh, the guitar then picks it up. So if you want to just play along. And then we're going to play what references a C. We're just going to play part of the chord. We'll do the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string. Do it again. That continues for a total of four. To start out this rhythm, we play the uh, notes from the intro. Then we're going to go C, D, back to C. Then we're going to do two of the B, and then C, and then your notes again. go into the rhythm it's just the uh, five six seven on the fifth string and then you're into a D and he's actually playing a full D uh, power chord and you're just palm muting it so you play the chord on the fifth and fourth string and then just the note so you're doing this I'll try and slow it down for you Just move that up to an E, same rhythm. Back to your D. And then there's a little tag that goes E, B on the sixth root note. Then you're going D, E, back to D for your rhythm. So all together it should sound like this. I'll take it from the D. you're back into that rhythm with the D and the E. Now instead of the tag there, we're going to go from E to D and then start the chorus on C. So the count for the E is a total of six. One, two, three, one, two, three. Three on D, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you just hold the C for the chorus. We're on a C to G for a measure to D to C. C starts over again to G to D and then we go up to E. And then they come in with the 5, 6, 7. That brings you back to the second verse. So that's the rhythm of the song um, that continues throughout. Let's touch on the lead guitar parts that uh, start off with uh, the first chorus. Okay, the first lick in the chorus when he sings, Oh, Nicole. Okay, not too difficult here. We got some sliding to do. We're going to slide on the sixth string from three to seven. Then we're going to, I do my uh, ring finger because that gets me in position with my first finger at the fifth fret. Because then we're going to cover 5 to 7 on the 5th string. Then we'll do 5 to 7 on the 4th string, but then we'll slide to 9. And then we're going to hit the 8th uh, fret on the 2nd string. And then catch 7 on the 3rd uh, string. So all together. lick is kind of similar. What we're doing there is we're going to slide uh, 3 to 7, go 5 to 7 on the 5th string, 5 to 7 on the 4th string, then we're going to have to kind of lean down and catch that 3rd string and give it a bend up twice, and then some vibrato as you release it after the second bend. So all together. Okay, during the second chorus, he changes it up again. This one's a little bit different. We'll uh, play it at speed and I'll show you. Okay, so what we're doing there is similar to the intro. So what we're doing there is just like the first few. We're going to hold on five for a second. 
And then we're going to grab seven on the uh, fourth string and just bend that up. And release and give it some vibrato. Okay. This second half of the second chorus changes a little bit. Rather than wait till he gets back to the G, he's going to take off from the C here for the second part. So one lick kind of follows the other. You'll hear it as you're doing the song, but we're going to change it up a little bit. So it'll go like this. Okay, so what we're doing there is when he says, my Nicole, we're going to go from three uh, up to seven, but we're on the fifth string now because we're taking off from the root note of C. We'll follow with five, seven on the fourth string to five, seven on the third, sliding up to nine. Then we're going to catch, I, I it could do it either way, but I'll do uh, eight to ten on the second string, and then eight and ten, you're going to bend up on the first string. So all together. At speed. Then he does a little, then we're going to slide into 10 on the second string, come back to 8, to 9 on the third, to 8 on the second, and then 10 on the second and bend that up. Okay, here's the lead at speed and then we'll slow it down. and delayed to make the sound a little authentic but now I've got it off so what we're going to do is we're going to start out on the um, ring finger on the 11th fret we're going to bend that up while holding our pinky on the second string steady then we're going to hit 12 and then 11 while it's bent up then we're going to bring it back down so all together we'll have this We're going to give it a little bend up, pull off, and then a hit and pull off again to uh, nine, and end up on 11. Okay, in this lick, what we're going to do is go to the um, fourth string and hit from nine to 11, then go down to 11 and pull off on the third string to nine. Then we're going to do a little hammer on and pull off from 9 to 10 and end up on 11 on the third string. So all together that second lick will be like this. One more time. Then we come up to the next position. We're going to take, I'm going to use my ring finger and bend up on the uh, 14th fret first string whole step then we're going to take it another half step up one more step to half step so we have this then you're going to do a hammer on and pull off from 12 to 14 on the first string and end up on 14 on the second string and then back to 12 so we have this so far We're going to give 14 a bend up and then hit 14 as we release it to 12. We'll do the same thing, uh, 14 to 12 on the second string and end up on 14 on the third. And then we're into the little uh, muted part. So for the muted part, we're going to do eight counts of second string, 12 to 9 and then hit the third string at nine. That's four, you would do four more. Then you're gonna go up to 14 on the first string, back to 
uh, 10 and then land on uh, the third string at 11. So there's eight of those, but after this, actually seven of those, then you just hit 16 and then on the second string and you're coming up to now 17 back to 14 on the second string and then hitting 14 on the third. Four of those, you're going to come back to the 14, 10, 11 for four. Two of the nine, um, or 12 to nine. Two more of the 10, I'm sorry, 14 to 10 to 11. And then you're just going to hit 14 on the third string and bend that up. Okay, now to the third chorus. That lick goes like this. So what we're doing is a similar lick. Three sliding to seven, six string, five, seven, five, seven on the fifth and fourth string. When we hit seven on four, we're going to slide up to nine. Then we hit seven, nine, and then on the third string, and then eight to ten on the second and hold that with some vibrato. So all together. So for the second half of that third chorus, he changes it again. He's going to start on the C note, but we'll do it on the sixth root and it'll sound like this. Okay, so what we're doing, we start on that sixth string, eighth fret, slide up to 12, then go 10, 12 on the fifth string, 10, 12, four strings, slide up to uh, 14. Then we're going to hit 12, 14, third string, and then 13 on the second, and bend up 15 on the second. So all together. Then the next one that he does is he's going to bend 14 up with a quick release. Catch 14 on the 4th string, back to 12 on the 3rd string, and then 14 on the 3rd. So that's all the licks in it, and then it just ends on 20. So you can kind of play along. You'll hear those licks in there. There might be a few others in the outro. I didn't figure them all out, but uh, hope you enjoy.